I'll just go for a hex punch. Wait, I didn't even. I didn't even. <laughs> Wait, that's so clutch, actually. Wait, the fact that I didn't awaken made me avoid the Earth Surge because of Levitate. That, you know what? That was totally intentional. That. <laughs> <laughs> Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, so if you really enjoyed my content, click that subscribe button down below because it really motivates me to make more content. And yeah, let's get right back into the video. Alright, um, well, very close to reaching um, Platinum, uh, but uh, I wanted to try out a new Awaken Doodle, um, Archipos. Um, yeah, I just I just really wanted to try it out. Um, I just slapped together um, a few Noodle Duels. Um, we've got uh, Blotatu, Jurassara, Fruit Toad, Bronzog, and Lumaline to support our Archipos. Jurassara will just set up Lingering Poison. That way our Hex Punch does more damage, Bolt Hatu deals with Orterra and also pivots out um, into our Archer Paws. Um, we also have Fruit Toad uh, with Takeout to also help with that. Um, Bronzog just deals with a lot of threats in general and Lumaline is our magical sweeper. So um, yeah, let's just hop right into the battles. Okay, um, wow. Um, not sure what their Awakened Doodle is going to be here, but um, it got a lot of potential candidates here. <laughs> um, I guess I could lead off with Archer Boss here. I don't see why not to. Actually, maybe I should have led off with Drasra to just set up our Lingering Poison. But um, at least this way we get our Awakening off, potentially. But yeah, let's just see what they lead off with. We go for the Polar Geist, respectable. Now, I don't know if I outspeed this thing, but I'm willing to try it out at least. We'll go for a Hex Punch. Well, Rune's still in Evolve. Uh, if they Cone of Cold, that's fine. They actually don't. And yeah, we outspeed and KO. That's really great for me. So now Voltatu doesn't have to worry about Polar Geist. Neither does Jurassara. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we had Fruit Toad anyways, so it wasn't really that much of a threat to begin with, but still nice to get rid of it. Um, and like, Fruit Toad can help deal with Lumaline better now. And maybe Caramello too, I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is definitely their Awakened Doodle, huh? I'm um, just going to Bronzok. If they go for a Shatter, we do have Jetpack. And yeah, they just go for Fiery Punch. Not their Awakened Doodle, so interesting. Actually, it could still be their Awakened Doodle. Maybe they're just not using it yet. Um, but they do still have Archer Boss and Moravale um, as potential Awakened candidates. Um, I'll go for a tough in here, to be honest. And they just go into Um, We still have our Jetpack, so we don't really need to worry about Earth Surge here. So I'm just gonna go for a bonk, and we just outspeed and KO it anyways. Surprise I outspeed, but um, not gonna question it. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty great so far. Um, they go into the Flaze again. We'll just go for an Earth Lance, because why not? And yeah, they just go down. Nice, is this gonna be a Bronzok sweep? Dang, we didn't even get to use, um,. Archer was that much, but um, I mean, I'll take it, like, <laughs> I'll honestly take it. Archer boss, yeah. Alright, if they haven't, if they had an earth type move, that would obliterate me since apparently my held item doesn't work, but I doubt it does have, um, a, uh, earth type move, and yeah, they just go over spirit claws. I just KO it with heat bash with a critical hit. <laughs> That's nasty. Alright. Um, yeah, they just go into this thing. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna heat bash. I don't I don't really see why not to. And yeah, I think this is gonna be a GG, to be honest. But um yeah, alright, they just go into Morville, I'll go for a heat bash again. And yeah, that's a good game. Nice bronzox sweep. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean 
That was a pretty good first game. Alright, alright, I decided to ch completely change my team so that I can deal with Drasaur just a little bit better. Because I have been getting pummeled by Jurassra this entire day. Alright, so basically the idea is that Spectatic swaps in on Jurassra since it can take most of Jurassra hits. Um, and eventually, we try to swap into Polar Geist to Cone of Cold it. So yeah, uh, hopefully we do not get pummeled by Jurassra any longer. Alright, thank goodness they don't have Jurassra. That means my own Jurassic can shine. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. It's crazy out here. Um, but I do think I will lead off with Jurassic right here. And yeah, let's just get our plat rank up finally. Because uh, I'm just tired. Like, I'm honestly, I'm done. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go into Fruit Toad and take in whatever hit this Mammoltalin is going to throw at us. And yeah, we're just going to go for a takeout and we'll go into some other doodle. Lethal Ornament Mammoltalin. Not even Mammoltalin, it's just Mammoltin. But yeah, it's just... Honestly, we could, on a, we could just belch something. Like, what are the odds that they go into Alumindra, right? So yeah, I'm gonna just go for a Belch. If they do go into Alumindra, then... That would be very interesting. Because I do have Rust, so... Yeah, they just go into Megordles, and we get the Poison off. Nice! Um... I... Think... I just go into Jurassic right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna just do that. They don't have any um, poison types to remove lingering poison, so getting that off would be huge for me. Um, yeah, that is gonna help out a lot. I could also um, go into Spectatic and be summon eventually. Because I don't think they have any way of removing hazards. But yeah, we'll just set up a lingering poison. Um, maybe we'll go into Spectatic to summon some bees, and, you know, we'll just demolish from there. We get the Lingering Poison off, they go for an Infection. Interesting. I actually do not know what that does, but I guess it just do does damage and that's it. But, this is a great time for me to go into Spectatic now. Yeah, we get our health back, and hopefully we can get our bee summon up. We swap out into Mammolton. I mean, they could do a lot of damage to Spectatic here, but I just want to go for a bee summon, so I'm going to do that. Alright, this is looking pretty decent, not going to lie. Um, I know I made this team built around Jurassra, but like, surprisingly it's doing pretty decent against um, a non Jurassra team, so. Oh my goodness, wait. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, it's not like I was going to use Spectatic for anything on their team anyways. Like, I have Jurassra for Abyssin. If they have Icy Bite, that's also totally fine. Um, Aluminja probably just deals damage to Spectatic with Iron Slash anyway, so... Um, I'll just go to Fruto though. Um, no reason to sack off Spectatic just yet. Um, since we can literally just take any hit that Memelton throws at us, so... Um, yeah, we'll go for a takeout this time. Unless they... Hmm, kinda wanna go for a rust, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll just go for a takeout. Um, if they go Alumendra, I can go into like Rotera or something. But, 
I don't think they do go into Alumindja. Yeah, they just go into Jaluminous. Um, I think I just go into Proterra regardless. Actually, I think I'm gonna go into um, Archipos. Actually, wait. It trapped me in. Interesting. So I can't even swap out then. Oh, then. <laughs> That's awkward. Um, uh, what does more damage? Um, probably Devour, right? Yeah, Devour definitely does more damage. Oh my gosh, wait, they do even more damage. Well then. Um, well, it's not like Fruit Toad um, was going to do anything else. Like, it did its job. It took care of Memel to win most of the way. So, not too bad. I'll go for Rust though. Fruit Toad goes down, but takes Juluminous down with it, so not too bad. Um, I'll go into Archibus here. I assume they go into like Hatrix and Awaken here as like a desperate plea, but um, we'll just go to Spectatic and sack that off if anything. They actually just go into McWordles. Alright, um, wait, I think this is a perfect opportunity to just Hex Punch, no? What does more damage? Um, 120 times. Uh, uh, stab, which is like, I don't know, like 1.25, something like that. Uh, this is gonna be like 75 times 2, that's like 150. I think they'll do like around the same amount of damage, so I'll just go for a Hex Punch. Wait, I didn't even... I didn't even... <laughs> Wait, that's so clutch actually. Wait, the fact that I didn't awaken made me avoid the Earth Surge because of Levitate. Now, you know what? That was totally intentional. That. <laughs> then we awaken now. Nice. What if they just go into Abyssin? No, they don't. That was clutch. That was actually clutch. I totally did not forget to awaken there. Um. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a genius. I can I can read minds. They go into Abyssin though, but they do get poisoned and take damage from Beast Summon, so very nice. I'm so tempted to click Chemical Cleave, but like, it's not worth it. I just have. I could just go into Jurassic. Yeah, they go for a Flashing Strike, but doesn't do much to me. And they're slowly taking a lot of chip damage. Wow, hazards are so broken. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's so strong. Like, if you don't have a hazard setter on your team, you're already at a disadvantage. But at the very least, you could have a hazards um, remover, and that would be, like, pretty decent. Wow, I got the speed drop as well. Nice. Um, I guess I just stay in. To be honest, no reason not to. Yeah, I'll just go for a hemlock hit. I mean, um, I think this is practically GG. Um, maybe they can pull something off with Awakened Matrix. Still don't even know if it is Awakened or not, but I assume it is. And yeah. <laughs> They just go into Mammoltalin though, um... Um... Kinda don't feel like sacking this off, so I'm just gonna go, go into Spectatic. And we'll finally sack it off, since... This is a very good time to do so. Alright! Um... Honestly... Huh. I could go into Rotera, Polokais, or Archibus here. All three are good options, but I guess I'll go into Rotera. Alright, um, I'll go for a hit and run here. They have to tell you have they have quick ice. 
critical hit and KO me. Honestly, not is this is still not bad for me, but like, wow. <laughs> I actually do not expect that. Um, hmm. I'll go into Archibus here. Um, if they go Abyssin, I just swap into Jirasra, but at least this way, like, I'm ready for the hat tricks to come out, and yeah, they do come out. So, this is a easy Hex Punch for me. Hopefully I would speed. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll go for Hex Punch, do some damage. I don't know if this is enough to KO it though, but we'll try. I mean, at the very least, Polar Geist has priority with Cone of Cold. But I do have to outspeed here, so... <laughs> Kinda worried about that. But maybe we live regardless, so... Oh boy, here comes the Awaken! And we do outspeed, and we KO it! Nice! <laughs> Let's go, um, I'll just go for a Chemical Cleave and... Hopefully that takes it out, but even if it doesn't, we have Polar Guys and Jirasa in the back, so... And yeah, that is GG. But, yeah, um... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... Hope to see you guys in the next one, and... Let's just see our plat rank up here. Any moment now. Any second now. Let's see it. Let's see it! Let's go! Finally, plat rank. That only took like, what? I actually don't know how long that took, but still, a very interesting journey nonetheless. And yeah, um, just cut to the outro already.